Yo, 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 what's up, what's up? It's your boy Cups the Universe, aka Poet Lounge, aka PD Mossberg, and today we will be talking about the Creed movie. Now, the Creed movie was actually a good movie. But my thing is, the only time they make good movies, or should I say, hmm, they always use the brother against the brother thing, right? So when they make two black people fight against each other, two indigenous, two melanated, these movies end up becoming great movies, right? So, you know, Creed, you know, he already went through his movies, you know what I'm saying? He went through his fights, his training, he's he's the man, he retired, he's almost like a, a, a promoter now. He owns, like, he runs the gym, he put money into the gym, you know what I'm saying? And they had this, like, Spanish fighter that they was promoting and all that. Now, when he was young, you know what I'm saying, he had some troubled friends, you know what I'm saying? Um, I'm not gonna say troubled, he just ran with the, you know, the other side of the, the tracks, right? And there's nothing wrong with that, but... You know, some things you have to be accountable for, right? So, basically, he's seen somebody he must have had issues with, you know what I'm saying? And he started punching on him. He started hitting them. The Creed guy. He started, but he was a little boy. He was young. And then the guy, boys, came. And then his man, you know what I'm saying, came and pulled the gun on him. But before that, his man was a boxer, you know what I'm saying? So, he was the young boy. He would go and hang out with his boy. His boy was a golden glove boxer. Who would get in the ring and he did his man, he did son dirty. Like these, like this movie was ill because of the calculations too. But let me, I'll get to that. This movie was tight. I liked it. But like I said, the only thing I didn't like about it was the fighting amongst black people, right? So he basically when the when all right, so after the after the the, the his boy, right, after Creed boy had to fight and won, right? He would say checkmate, knock son out clean. Like he ships fire, right? I like this movie, but so he left, he gets in the car with his boy, give his boy some money, give Creed some money, basically. Tell Creed, you know what I'm saying? And Creed gives him the boxing tickets from his father. Because remember, his father was a boxer. You know what I'm saying? Creed's father was Apollo, right? So then the guy, like, yeah, I'm going to become Golden Glove, I'm going to become professional, blah, 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 blah. Long story short, when the guy that was boxing pulled out the gun to help Creed, right? Police just came out of nowhere, right? And Creed ran, right? Like he booked on him, right? So he got away and some went to jail, right? So boom. Now, long story short, he Creed goes through his whole life fighting, becoming a boxer and all that. And son is watching, right? From jail though. So boom. So homeboy comes out of jail, you know what I'm saying? And basically, that's his oh, it was it was homeboys, right? Come out of jail, he's sitting on standing on his car, Creed come out the the boxing gym, and he's like, yo, my man, what you doing in my car? So I'm like, oh, you don't remember me, right? Like, and then he was like, he said, yo, it's a long way from when we used to steal your mother's car. And then he was like, oh, snap, dude. So whatever son's name was, right? So he like, yo, you know, son's like, nah, I don't want to take up your time and all that. Son like, yo, Creed like, yo, you know what? Yo, you got time? Let's go out. So he take him out to eat. They eating, you know what I'm saying? The nigga talking to him and shit. Boom, boom, they eating, Creed eating. And son dropping hints like, yeah, man, you know, son dropping mad, like, putting hot sauce on his food. Creed, like, yo, son, chill. He like, nah, 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 man, you know, this is the first time I've been out in a while. Like, you know what I'm saying? He like, 18 years, and, you know, he went in on him, right? So, Creed was on some, yo, if anything you need, I got you, right? So, then he like, yo, look, give him money. Son don't want the money, son. So, Creed take the money back. He like, yo, I want a title shot. But he's like, yo, you're not even a real boxer, though, like, but he like, all right, he's like, yo, the, the dude that's talking to Creed, yo, so I know some tricks I didn't show you and all that, you know what I mean? Boom, boom, boom. So look, so Creed was setting up a title match because the person that had the title, the champion, was his fighter, that Spanish guy. So he was setting up the title match with Drago, right? So when he was setting up that match, his boy was watching, his peeping that mind you, his boy, you know, go to his crib. Oh, your crib nice, son, like. Yo, this is huge, like, you see what I'm saying? Like, like his boy had hate. You could tell his boy had some kind of hate to, like, the success that he had. Like, almost like, yo, this is supposed to be my success, and you supposed to be my little bro, right? 
So he in there, he sees wife, he sees the kids, he sees the daughter. Then after like they all go, he like, yo, you got soft, you're getting soft, but they tell you know all the guys talking like that, right? So boom. Now they had a press conference, right? With the Drago dude, and he invites son, son is in the mix, right? Now, Drago in this event gets attacked, right? It was like a you know press conference thing. He gets attacked by some random, and the random breaks his arm, right? So now Drago can't fight. So now the champ don't have a fight. So now Creed like, yo, I got two opportunities for you. You can fight one guy, but you can fight this guy, right? Which was his boy. He was like, yo, you know, the underdog story, you know what I'm saying? Everybody loved that. Now, I don't think Creed was like banking on his boy to win this fight. It was kind of weird, right? Because he was almost like Creed was promoting the Spanish fighter, but he hooked up the other fighter to fight. He knew this son longer, but he kind of was promoting the other guy and son was noticing this, right? So, boom. So, now, he gets Son the title fight. So, when Son fights the Spanish kid, I mean, Son is the son is a, like a master dirty fighter, bro. Like, he's a master dirty fighter. So, he's doing his things. You know what I'm saying? Boom, knee to knee, bow. You know what I'm saying? Shoulder punches. Like, he was doing some others. Like, I've never seen the awkwardness of him. Like, basically, I think he was using 52. You know what I'm saying? The 52 blocks and blows methods. You know what I'm saying? The striking. That's what I think he was using. But um, he basically beat the Spanish guy to a pope, bro. Like, he beat the Spanish guy to, like, oh, my God. He put him in Tilson's care. So Creed, not really happy with the guy. So, you know what I'm saying? He go after all this. You know what I'm saying? They mad at the, the, the um, promoter, the boxer trainer dude. You know what I'm saying? What was his name? In um, Boxdale in, from The Wire, right? I think that was his name. Son was in here. He's a trainer, right? So, you know what I'm saying? He mad at him. Like, don't come back to the gym and all that. So, Creed go see this dude, right? And he, this dude is around a whole bunch of dudes, man. Like, so one of the dudes try to push Creed, like, chill. So, Creed, like, knock him out. Boom. So, then Creed, like, the other guy pull a gun on him. So, his man take the gun from the guy and put it in his waist. And now he talking shit to Creed. Like, yeah, nigga, I don't need you. Ah, 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 ah. So now they 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 go into this this state where you know Duke or Creed homeboy punches Creed in the face. Creed go down, come up his eye messed up. He mad, he tight, boom, he go home. He don't tell his wife. He going through all his issues. Mind you, this is all about a successful person and a person that didn't really like made the wrong choices and how helping one helping trying to help can hurt, right? But so boom, so now Creed is like. You know what I'm saying? The nigga Duke talking all kinds of nonsense about Creed. Oh, he a fraud. He this. He ran on his boys. He a sucker. Blah, blah, blah. He was really mad because Creed didn't, like, reach out to him, right? Now, Creed mom was sick and all that, but she was okay, right? Like, she just had a stroke not too long ago in the other movie, whatever. And um, basically, right, the dude Duke kind of mentioned what happened with his with Creed to Creed's wife, but Creed wife don't really know what's going on and Creed don't talk about it. Right? And then um the moms was like he kind of mentioned that he was sending letters, but Creed was like, I never got it. So basically he goes, he's talking to his mom. You know what I'm saying? This might be out of context, right? But I think he's talking to his mom and he's like, you know, if it wasn't for you, this wouldn't be happening. He thought I abandoned him. Ah, ah, ah. Like, he really got her upset. She was like, yo, I was just trying to protect you. Yo, I don't know if he had your back back in the day, but this is not the same guy, right? And then basically, so Creed was mad, but then she ends up having a stroke and going to the hospital. And then, you know what I'm saying? His mom ends up dying. And I was like, God damn, right? So she ends up dying. And then as they bury her, here go the dude, Duke talking mad, junk, mad, mess. And, and Creed feel like, yo, since, ever since son came back, you know what I'm saying? They've been going through this this, this back and forth with, you know what I'm saying? Like everything has been going wrong for him. That's what he's trying to say, right? So, you know, he was talking on an interview. Creed was on an interview and the dude, Duke, called in. Right? And now he's like, nah, we doing this live. Yo, you a coward. You a ah, ah, ah. We talking nonsense, right? Like, you know what? The dude, Duke, I, I kind of had a little respect for, but when I looked in some eyes and his face and how he carried himself through the movie, it made me look at him like a sucker nigga that knew how to fight, but he was straight. It's like a sucker nigga, though. You know what I'm saying? Like, I seen it in his eyes, man. He was like one of those dudes that can't win fair fights. Like, you know what I'm saying? But 
Now, I digress. Some was still, some was brocky as ever. He was nice, right? I thought he was going to be a better fighter. Honestly, not just a dirty one, right? So, basically, long story short, now Creed challenges him to the boxing match. Creed training. He going hard. He punching the, 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 he punching the wood and trees. He, he doing all the crazy workout, right? He getting his body, iron body, right? Martial artists know about the iron body, right? So, he getting the iron body, right? So, now... Boom, long story short, this whole situation go, right? Like, they had to fight. This wasn't a long movie either. They had to fight now, boom. Now they fighting, you know what I'm saying? And they both do this thing from the ring corner where they assess each other. And they look for the, the weaknesses and the flaws. And they, like, it was fire, I liked it. Long story short, they boxing, they boxing, it's going on. They The, the ring becomes empty. They see themselves as little kids. Now it's them as little kids fighting each other. You know what I'm saying? And basically Creed mastered what his boy tried to show him back in the day and knocked his boy clean out. Boom! I was kind of happy. But I was mad because they made me choose against one black, one melanated being versus another melanated being. You feel me? And it made me feel bad at the end of the movie that I even had to chose because I didn't like Son after what he was doing. You know what I'm saying? Because basically Son found out, Creed found out that his boy was the reason why the dude Drago got his arm broke. Like he went to one of his spots and he seen some pictures and he seen a jail picture with all of them together. And one of the dudes from the jail picture was the dude that bashed Draco, Draco, Draco's hand. So he was like, oh, you was playing me, son. Like you wasn't my man's, you was playing me. And when he was doing that, I was tight. I was like, oh, yeah. So when Creed knocked him out, I was done. I was like, yeah. But, you know, I felt bad because I, you know, I don't like to chew between my brothers. So then after the fight, you know, Creed looked at him like, yeah, you know what it is. The other nigga looked like a sucker, walked off. Creed, like a gangster, walked to the back of there after everything was done, sat down with him, spoke with him. You know what I'm saying? Apologized for not contacting him and all that. Kept it a gangster, man. Kept it G. So then his man was like, yo, this ain't over. You know, Creed looked at him like, yo, son, I'm Creed. You know what I'm saying? So whatever. And they 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 did their handshake and they went about their way. So it wasn't no real bad blood. Now, this movie, I liked it, but I didn't like it because of that premise, black against black, right? Um, also like, oh, when you get successful, the type of people you might have to stay away from. Then, oh, if you want to help people from back in the day, it might not work out because they might be jealous of who you are. You see what I'm saying? Um this Creed movie was like one of those things. It showed you how how relationships where, you know, men or relationships, there's things in the past that people don't like to express. You see what I'm saying? And I had another point I wanted to make about the movie, but I kind of like it slipped my mind. It was like a, a, a one of the premises of the movie that I took out of it. Um, oh, yeah. Like chasing your dreams. Giving up on your dreams, right? Look, boom. He was mad at Creed, right? This is the last thing I'm going to say. He was mad at Apollo. He was mad at Adonis Creed for becoming a boxer and becoming, he felt like he was a boxer. But when he knew Creed, he knew that Creed's father was a boxer. So all Creed did was look up to his father. So eventually Creed was going to become a boxer anyway. You see what I'm saying? More so, I believe his friend wanted to become a boxer because he knew that his homeboy's father was a boxer. You see what I'm saying? Like, so I felt like for him to be jealous of Creed being coming a boxer and being nice, like that was already in his DNA. That was genetically passed down through his father, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, he didn't understand that. So he was upset. Like, I was supposed to be boxing and you was not never going to be the boxer. But I felt like this would have happened anyway. Whether someone went to jail or not, they would have ended up fighting each other anyway in the ring because Creed was going to become a boxer anyway, bro. Because that was his, his fight. That's who he looked up to when he was young. That's what he saw. You know what I'm saying? And, um, yeah. So, like I said, this movie was pretty good, man. I'm not going to lie. The heavy thing about this movie was pretty tight. It was dope. It was just the fact that it had to be black on black violence for it to act up like Black man versus black man, friend versus friend, old school versus old school. Then it's like, oh, when you being successful as a successful black man, there's some people that you can't bring around. You see what I'm saying? There's some people that you don't owe. You know what I'm saying? That they may try to make you feel like you owe them. You know what I'm saying? So that's what I got out that Creed movie 
You know what I'm saying? With that whole situation, unfortunately, it was black on black brothers. One going to jail, one becoming successful. So they're trying to separate the successful black brothers from the jail black brothers right off the rip. But he wasn't that bad of a guy. You know what I'm saying? He just had a lot of energy in him. And he was kind of sneaky and conniving. And that shit made me not like him. You know what I'm saying? But son was doing the 52 blocks. You know what I'm saying? He was doing some punches from weird positions, like, and that's what it was, the 52 blocks, you know what I'm saying, so yo, it's your boy Cups the Universe, aka P. Mossberg, aka Poet Lounge, and that was my review on the Creed movie, and, um, I'll talk to y'all later, man, peace.